let's see what is present within the collection interface which forms the base of the Java collection API. The collection interface is used to represent any group of objects or elements. It's a generalized form since all other collections mostly derive from the collection interface except map. It also allows conversion from one type of collection to other. Following are some of the methods which play a very important role with respect to collection interface. The first one is the size which returns an integer value indicating the number of elements which are present within the current collection. Is empty is another important method. It returns a boolean value indicating whether some element is present within the collection or not. Contains is used to check whether the collection contains this particular element. In case the element is present it will return true else false. To add an element within the collection we have the add method within which we can pass the element needed to be added. Similarly to remove an element from a collection we have the remove method. To loop through the collection we have an iterator function which returns as an iterator using which we can loop through the given collection and get the given elements present within it. Similarly we have functions which deals with other collections that is we have contains all which takes a collection and checks whether the current collection contains all the elements of another collection. Similarly we have add all function which is used to add the values from a given collection to current collection. All the values which are present within the collection passed as the argument will be stored within the current collection. Clear is used to remove all the elements from the current collection. All these functions play a very important role and all the classes or interfaces which further extends the collection interface gives body to these corresponding functions as and when applicable. Similarly, there are also provisions to remove all the elements from a given collection. That is, the collection which is passed as parameter will be used to remove the elements which matches with this collection. Retain all will return only those values which are not present in the other collection which is passed. The two array and two array parameterized are used to convert from the collection form to the array form. One returns the object array while second returns the parameterized array. To have more understanding about the methods which we saw in the collection interface, let's first dive into list which is a special type of ordered collection.